Hi there, and welcome to my SFML and C++ tutorial video series. Uh, in this first video, we're just going to go ahead and download the SFML library and set it up with a Visual Studio 2019 project. If you don't have Visual Studio 2019, I would personally recommend it as one of the best uh, C++ developer uh, IDEs, uh, on Windows at least. Um, so go ahead and download that, it is a prerequisite for this video. Uh, with that in mind, let's go to the SFML website and I've got it right here. Uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And uh, we're just gonna head to the download section, pretty straightforward. Uh, latest stable release, SFML 2.5.1. Uh, and you can see here, none of the uh, version options here, like Visual Studio uh, C++ 15, uh, so 2017, 2015, 2013, none of those versions actually match up with Visual Studio 2019. Uh, it is fine. Uh, I'm not sure if there's some kind of spooky action going on in the background that I'm not aware of, but I've been using uh, these outdated versions uh, for the newer version of Visual Studio with no problems for about a year. So take my word for it. Uh, whether you download the 32-bit or 64-bit versions uh, don't really matter too much. I'm going to go with the 32-bit because it uh, has a larger target audience. I mean, more machines could possibly, um, you know, accept a 32-bit executable. Um, in 2021, though, not many machines are, but anyways. Let's go ahead and download that, and uh, with a bit of editing magic, it should download pretty fast. And you can see here, our zip file has downloaded, so let's go ahead and drag that into a new folder. I'm just going to call my folder C++ Libraries. You can put it anywhere in your computer that you wish. Let's go ahead and extract. Open it up. And uh, there's a few folders here. The main ones we're going to care about in a second, when we actually set up the project in Visual Studio, is uh, include and lib. So let's open up Visual Studio and make a new project. And let's use, uh, let's see here. Let's use console app. I'll just call it SFML learning. Delete all those pesky comments. I'm sure there's a way to get rid of them. I just, uh, I'm too lazy. Uh, anyways, we're going to set up our project. So we're going to go to our solution explorer here. You see under SFML learning, we're just going to uh, click on that. Just right click, we're going to go down to the bottom here, properties. And here we're going to go do a few things. So let's get started in C, uh, C++. So uh, under the additional include directories, click the drop down arrow, click edit. And uh, we're going to open up this folder here. So let's go to the include section or the include folder. Uh, I'm just going to click on this uh, path up here at the top of the file explorer. Uh, hit control C on your keyboard to select that uh, and copy it, I mean. And double click in here and just paste it in. There we go. Uh, in preprocessor, uh, still under C slash C++, uh, preprocessor definitions, we're just going to click on the drop down arrow again, hit edit. We're going to add one thing in here, SFML underscore static. What this allows us to do is link against the static version of the SFML library, or in other words, when we do compile an executable to ship off, we don't need to also tag along the SFML DLL files and uh, the whole library just fits right in the executable. So it's just more convenient and I highly recommend that over uh, the former option. All right, now let's move down to the link, the linker. And uh, here in uh, an input, uh, here, let's, let's actually start in general. Uh, we're going to go to additional library directories, click the little drop down, edit, let's open up our uh, SFML uh, folder here. We're going to go up a level and into lib. And uh, again, copy the path, control C, double click, control V. Nice. Now we're going to go to input, uh, additional dependencies. Again, click edit here. Now, this is a list uh, I'm just going to put in the description for you. You can just copy and paste in here. Uh, the order that these are linked does matter. And the fact that it says SFML graphics dash s uh, the dash s means we want the static library and dash d means we want the debug library because we're doing development now when you go to actually ship this product you might want to change the dash d uh, remove that uh, and that will allow you to link against the um, not debug libraries which might be a little faster a little bit leaner uh, but don't worry about that for now too much since you know we're just getting started with the basics so we're going to uh, hit ok here and uh, I believe that's everything. Just hit apply in the settings, hit OK. And uh, something else you can just copy and paste from the description. I'm going to paste in this uh, test program here, actually from the official SFML website. And uh, you can just uh, save this project. 
and this is just going to draw a uh, green circle on the screen, assuming that we did everything correctly. So I'm going to hit Control and then F5 on my keyboard to compile, um, not in debug mode, or compile and run. You can see it opens up here, and uh, if I can just move this around, we got a green uh, sphere, or uh, not sphere, <laughs> circle displaying on our screen. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, leave a like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, go ahead and check out the next video. It should be either on the right in the list of videos, uh, and if not, I will also leave a link in the description uh, once the next video is made. Yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and uh, thank you for watching. See ya.